Hi, my name is Tom Atkinson, and this is a great ball contraption in Brick World, Chicago, 2018. Uh, ap apparently, we have a new world record here, Mako. Uh, I think we've beat your number, and you can count them as we go through. <laughs> yes. Right off the bat, we want to make sure we talk about some new additions to the GBC here. Right, we have uh, we just got a, a new set of balls. Uh, they showed up like yesterday, wow. uh, and these are Lego soccer balls, and we had them printed. Uh, so they have the, the Brick World logo in three different colors on one side, and then they have Bill Bourne Legacy on the others. Uh, and the reason we did this is balls are starting to run out. I lose them all the time. And this is a, a much cheaper alternative than trying to buy soccer balls all okay. the time. And so Brian um, got these for us to use. Uh, are these still official Lego pieces that have been printed on? They are. Okay. This, this is the official Lego uh, I think they use it as a volleyball, as a plain white volleyball. He bought a bunch of them and had a, a vendor print them. Great. So Yeah, they, they look amazing, so it's, it'll be cool to see them go through. Yeah, and they're, and they're good. They, they, they function as well as a soccer ball in terms of showing motion, which was my concern about using plain balls. Right. Um, and they're colorful, too, so that's in the scheme of Lego is keep things colorful. So we can start off right here, um, and you know, I think what we're going to do is try to move quickly through modules that we've seen 57 times before. Um, so, and we can start with uh, my black hole module, which basically absorbs a ton of balls and spits them out one at a time. Then we go to the lifting platform module, been seen before. John Bros module that has a bunch of splitters, which actually happen to be GM right now. That does not happen very often, this module. Sure, I stick my finger in there to fix it. All right. Now we can move on. Sorry about that, John. <laughs> and then we move on to uh, John's flipper module. Um, it, uh, we'll move on. So this, this one's been around for a while. It's uh, very reliable, works really well. Uh, and out, outside of that, we go into a, an uh, elevator module, which is both of these two modules are run by NXTs, which John seems to like to do. Um, from there, we go into m my square geared uh, brick built conveyor, um, which always seems to um, jiggle balls off of it. Um, and after that, we go into this other module, which seems to be jammed at this particular moment. I don't know why. Well, we'll just keep moving. Just give it a good thump. <laughs> Somebody will fix it. Uh, and after that, we go to my shooter, which is, of course, uh, my personal oldest module and um, the biggest thorn in my side, collectively. Um, after it comes out of this, we go into a, a small, smallest module ever kind of thing, um, which just picks them up and dumps them into my up and down module, which holds a lot of balls mostly. Um, this, this module has definitely given me trouble in the past. It's been behaving today, though, so... I shouldn't say that too loud, should I? <laughs> then it starts messing up on you. Yeah, it happens. And uh, strangely enough, out of that, we go into another one of the little gray, tiny little modules. Um, and then from there, they have the great little fillers. So from there, we go into my counter. It's been seen a bunch of times. Um, out of that, we go into a, a simple conveyor, which uh, looks pretty, I, this is, looks like a combination of a couple of the workshop modules, which is cool to see because that means people are taking ideas and working, adding to them, yes. and yeah, building off of the workshops and stuff you've done. Right, right. So uh, from there, we go into a module that is uh, basically a, a plinko kind of thing, where there's various places the balls can drop in holes, and there's a basketball at the bottom, um, and it's all kind of a, a an averaging thing, you know, where they bounce, and every once in a while you'll get a basket. Yeah. It's fun to watch that and see where it ends up. Yep, yep. It's pretty cool. If, if you're waiting for a basket, you can wait for a long time. But if you're not waiting, they'll happen 27 times in a row. There you uh, go. You got one. All right, cool. All right, so from there we go into uh, this is a, a, a Mako. Uh, this is based on Mako's design um, that Mr. Red built. It has a nice long conveyor with a zigzag, which is... The zigzag ramps uh, are always fun because you get lots of balls in there and back and forth. Just, it's entertaining. Um, out of that, we go into uh, Mr. Red's Tsunami, which is basically conveyor feeds the balls on top of a, uh, 
um, another piece of conveyor that has something moving underneath it that pushes the balls down the wave. I've always liked that. It's, it's a cool, cool design there. Yes. Yes, it has. So from there, we go into a module then, and this story has been told about this module. This was built by somebody at an event in about two hours with parts from my stuff that I bring as spares. However, it's now been modified. The, the original was direct drive from the motor, and it always ran too fast. So uh, one of the guys here took it and added some gears and, and made it a, a much more st stable motor. Could be, you can run it at full speed, and it's not launching the balls across the room. So vast improvement there. Uh, and then we got a Brick World Workshop module, and modification of a Brick Show Workshop module, and then we go into my Ferris wheel. Uh, Ferris wheel is one of the mainstays of the, my GBC. It is. Uh, it's always fun to see see how many spots the, the balls can fill up there. Yeah. Um, and if there's a good stream, I get, it usually hits them all. Uh, it does occasionally miss, but, you know, that's that's GBC. <laughs> occasionally miss is right. what GBC <laughs> is all about. Just every once in a while. Yeah, just, you know, every couple of days or so. Uh, from there, we move on to the my green pusher. It's been seen 582 times before. Uh, and then we have a series of last year's Brick World modules. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, uh, interpretation of the first year Brick World workshop module. And then we have, um, this is based on uh, an Akiyuki design. Uh, it's, it's heavily modified, uh, obviously. Um, it makes the balls work themselves up. And it's kind of cool because sometimes when there's too many balls up there, it automatically recycles. So it's kind of self-regulating. It's kind of neat how it works that way. After that, we go into uh, a, a series of um, Moody modules. <laughs> so this is Jeremy Moody's um, adaption of the Lego set that, that turns it into a GBC module. And I will again say, out of the box, this is not a GBC module. It takes a lot of work to get it into one. For anyone wondering if you can just pop this open and have a GBC module, it doesn't work that way. Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Um, it, it actually, I'm... I'm he could explain, but it took him some work yeah. to get it to work. So from there, we, we go into the my, binomial distribution module, which is, um, it's got a whole minute before it dumps. Yeah, you guys have seen that before. Oh, wait, we can fix that. Now it's going to dump quickly. <laughs> now. Excellent. A little bit of behind the scenes magic there. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy knows the right buttons to push. <laughs> right. Um, and this, this is actually part of that same module, is how we count it, because um, this does not meet the standard by itself. This might, but the two together become something that meets the standard. So that's, that's why we did this. Um, at, after that, we go into, uh, this is Benjamin Moody's module, uh, where all the gears and everything is, are inside. It's a, definitely an interesting, different way of doing a conveyor. Um, out of that, we go into another module that's a uh, Moody module. We've seen this uh, before, uh, where there's lots of parallel tracks that move slow, and then it goes back into one that moves a little faster. And uh, again, a, a brick-built conveyor with square gears. Um, and I have to say, my design, I stole from there. So Now, this module is one I, I've seen an early prototype to this and uh, he spent some time um, making it work a lot better. Uh, this is an interesting design. This is new. You guys have not seen this yeah. before. Um, so, and it's been working fairly well. I know the first time he had it out um, was a small show we did up in Maine, and uh, it worked great for a couple hours, and then he had some problems. Uh, but this, it seems to be working great. It's worked fine all day, as far as I know. It's like it incorporates even like rubber bands in the back there as well. Yep, yep, that's... Uh, I, part of how the mechanism works is need a little bit of spring to push that part back. So there you go. And then this output is kind of loosely based on a, an Akiyuki concept, which I think he kind of extended a lot. Um, and having this kind of flexible output, um, not only in, is it a flexible in length, but uh, input to output, you can having this kind of output is very helpful for a GBC. Yeah. From there, we move into uh, one of the older modules from the Moody family. Um, this is a very colorful module, conveyor belt. And um, 
this, this conveyor belt uh, breaks often, but I don't think today it's, it's broken at all, which is unusual for it. So, and it's a cool module, and that Rainbow Warrior thing. The, right, the yeah. kids look at this thing and they relate to it somehow. So, mm -hmm. it's a, they're always popular. Uh, coming out of that, we go into uh, a, a Brick World workshop module from previous years. Uh, and then we go into a small up and down, and then a last year's workshop module. Of course, not in workshop module colors, but and then this is based on this year's workshop module, but different colors. And then we go into a couple more of the last year workshop module, another this year workshop module, a first year workshop module, a this year workshop <laughs> module. I'm getting tired. Picking of up on a pattern here. Can we say? A shortened workshop module to just WM, okay? Yes. All right, WM, that's what we're going to call them. All right, from here we go to um, Brad Sweet's um, roller coaster kind of module. Crazy flex tube thing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> colorful, very colorful. Uh, the balls have two paths. One goes roundy, roundy, and the other goes through a loop. Because, you know, roller coasters have to have both, mm -hmm. right? The output of it, we go into yet another last year's work, WM, yes. and uh, uh, the first year's WM, and then moving on to Minions, right? Everybody recognizes that as Minions. Right, you got lights in there. Oh, yeah. Minions and lights, I mean, don't those go together? Probably. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Um, out of that, we go into the, the Bumblebee module with the wheel and the, the black and yellow color scheme, which you can't miss even in dark fog. Mm -hmm. um, out of that, we go into um, another WM and a uh, first year WM. And then we go into um, a ball pump that uh, clearly has a Mindstorm theme. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that this was rebuilt incorporating the pump design of this year's workshop module because that pump design has turned out to be a very reliable. Okay. So, so it's like a Minecraft creeper thing there? Yeah, so he's had a Minecraft creeper module for a while and it used to jam fairly regularly. And so he went through and rebuilt it using the, the techniques from this year's module uh, and you know made the whole module a lot more reliable. Mm -hmm. um, from there we go into a couple more WMs from last year, and then we go into a, a cup to cup, which is this is based on Akiyuki design. This is his own take on it, um, and th and these things are um, always entertaining to watch. I just love the motion of the of the balls, and I think it it's 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 a crowd favorite. And I think this module style has single handedly priced those headlight bricks to out of reach oh, of okay. normal people. <laughs> So, just a side effect of great ball contraption. Yes, popular rising nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, just like the soccer balls, you know. Uh, from there, yes, we go up the uh, bridge, as we call it, which allows us to walk in and out freely. Um, saves us old guys from uh, a lot of crawling under tables. Uh, and once the balls come spiraling down that, uh, they come into another... Um, kind of a different build of last year's uh, workshop module. Uh, and out of that, we go into this interesting one, which clearly is representing a, um, a, 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 a belief, a group of, uh, you know, one of those right. things. Ribbon. Ribbon. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Brain not working. Okay, so out of that, we go into... A whole mess of three of the this year's WMs, um, and we will see a few more of those later. Have those uh, workshops expanded over the years, and like more, getting more people involved, like more kits that people can build? Yes, they have gone crazy. Actually, okay. um, I, I think the first year we had uh, thirty, and and it took a while to sell all the kits. Second year was like thirty, and it sold out pretty quickly. Um, this year, I think it was 80, and um, they sold out pretty quickly. Wow. Yeah. So, and I, we've been getting asked, you know, is there, is there still kits available? Still kits available? And um, the kits from last year, 
Brian went through and made a whole second batch of them. So he's still got kits from last year, but this year's kits long gone. <laughs> so, and we'll keep moving. This this is a uh, a sweeper module, um, which feeds into and and uh, this is actually I think fairly new. The sweeper module that uh, feeds into a, a ramp with a slope and a jump, um, and this has been modified. Um, but you've seen the basic mechanism of this before. Nice color scheme, oh, that tan thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and out of that, we go into um, a, a spiral. Um, and this is uh, loosely based on a phyllo design. Uh, and out of that, we go into another module, which is a simple conveyor, which feeds into um, a module which is has the um, rainbow color scheme, but is has a design of a Stuart design for a brick fest, a fair module. Um, from there, we go into a, a sweeper, which is uh, based on a design by uh, Philo, um, and these these are notorious for finding a way to jam. That I think this one's been working pretty well today. It's always a plus. Yeah. Uh, another WM from last year, uh, simple up and down, which is a, um, a copy of a design I did, the gray modules we saw earlier. Uh, from there we go into a simple conveyor, which is very nicely decorated, um, that is based on the first year's workshop module. Um, out of that we go into the now famous snail module, uh, which is also based on a WM. Uh, and out of that, we go into uh, yet again another Brick Fair um, WM. <laughs> um, and and I know you know this is the one that this is I, a classic right here. Yeah, and and <laughs> we'll get to the second half of this later. But this is my yes perpetual prototype module. Go ahead, give me grief. <laughs> Life happens. You're used to it. I am. I can take it. All right, and from there we go into, uh, I believe this is based on an Akiyuki design um, that is a, a big spiral, a uh, big spiral. And it can, uh, I'm pretty sure this can handle a lot of balls at once. Mm -hmm. It's a big spiral. Um, from there we go into another first year WM um, and then into a simple conveyor. Uh, and after that, we go into uh, these very colorful modules that uh, have been seen before. They've been modified and improved over the years. Uh, there's a pair of them, conveyor feeding a conveyor, and then there's this whole tilting ramp thing that the balls wiggle their way and find a hole to drop out of. We move on to um, another WM, first year WM. And then we have a, a simple double stepper. Uh, and then we move on to a module that is um, a series of shooters. This is, I think this is also an, an Akiyuki concept uh, where the, the presence of the ball is what makes the arm go up as opposed to just not. So if you catch one where the ball doesn't go, there isn't a ball, you see there's a shaft sliding in in there. The ball in there, the shaft hits the ball and then it activates the arm to move up. Okay. It's a pretty neat deal. Yeah. After that, we go into um, yet again another WM, 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 WM. <laughs> and then we have a rotating disc style of module. This is a very colorful one. Um, out of that, we go into a, uh, this looks like a, it's a stepper. It looks loosely based on uh, Stuart's design for the, the Brick Fair workshop module. Um, after that, we have a series of small, <coughs> um, simple, up and down modules that just the small eight ten by ten ones that just pass them on. And now, <coughs> let's see if I can do this. Works on module WM last year, WM this year, WM this year, WM last year, last year, this year, last year, last year, last year, last year, last year, last year. And then I have to take a big breath for this. I'm not even gonna bother. WM times I don't know eighty. No, not that many. There aren't that many here, but you can see. We have enough of them here that as people finished them or, or decided to actually finally bring them over, we had so many of them 
that as we come down the line, we had to serpentine them. And this is all this year's kit. This is, this is all this year's kit. That ball pump, which is, I, in my opinion, this is the most reliable ball pump I've ever seen. And I, the the designer was uh, Brian Alano, um, but that he got the instructions out to uh, several of us to beat on for a long time. And I had I built a module early on, and carried it around with me, and it went through seven conventions or something. And so the, the design got got really beat up before it got turned yeah. into the kit for this year um, so it's I think it's it's an awesome module because it had that opportunity to really get corrected the, the little stupid things that you find after you've run a module for a long time this one had a chance to to get the errors fed back into the design I like so. the yellow ladders to move from one to another that's cool yeah, that's actually, that was one of the things that came later in the design, was that yeah. they changed that part. Uh, Brian changed that part. So, after we get around the corner of those, which, I don't know, somebody can go through the video and count them all. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. It. Not today. Uh, so, and, and of course, this definitely, you saw, there was a few people who custom things, and somebody made the thing pink, because, you know, just because. Why not? <clears throat> Absolutely. I, I even can guess who it is, but we'll move on. Um, so WM last year, WM last year, WM a few years ago, a few years ago, last year, a few years ago, last year, a few years ago. <gasps> Big breath. All right, so now we move into this volcano, which is an awesome module because mm -hmm. he's incorporated some lighting um, that, that, that adds to it. And this is one of the things that um, is, is interesting is that this ball pump, design that was used for this year's workshop module is what's running this too okay so it, it was a, this is another module that took that design and beat on it for a while to make sure that there weren't any bugs in it before it got turned into a module yeah it's cool the light like the lava it. under there now yeah that's so cool uh, from there we move into some more WMs WM from early, early years. Um, and out of that, we go into uh, another um, iteration or d modification of the uh, brick. Oh, that's not good. Uh, of the brick fest. Jeez, I did it again. Brick, brick fair. fair. There you go. There's a lot of confusing brick names out there. <laughs> yeah, brick me, brick you, brick everybody. Um, and then we move into this. Um, Module this it's uh, this uh, interesting gear train here, um, and it, it got to get a, a look at the uh, the card, and that'll tell you where the concept came from. Um, after that, the balls go into uh, a, an interesting module, and this is where we're getting all. Actually, we can start with started with that last one, but we got a whole series of. Of, of modules that were done by Lori, um, and they're, they're pretty cool. This one first splits the balls into two paths and then feeds it into two shooters that shoot it up into a net. Yeah, <clears throat> that's really cool. And it's even, so it's like superhero themed then. Yep, yep. Okay. And so then the balls, you know, wind their way down past various superheroes and interesting things that the balls bounce off to kind of push it back into the tower one more time. Uh, once it comes out of there, we go into a, a simple wheel type module, um, which is, uh, this is a slightly different design, which is cool. And then we go into um, another adaption use of the ball pump. Um, and this obviously is pushing up a lot higher than the workshop module, but it's using the same mechanism. Okay, so. Right. And then and that feeds into this module here, where you're going to have to catch the words in the front there to see what all the various things it tells you. <clears throat> um, and so it's a, not only is it a module, but it's a place for the kids to return balls. And, um, I, you know, there's been a lot of excitement running kids running over here to put balls in. Yeah. I've seen them. So. Um, out of that, we go into another version of the first year WM. Uh, and then we go into this really cool module, which is uh, um, basically a putt-putt golf course. This is so awesome, yeah. And it goes like all the way down here. Yeah, 
and and what's interesting is when I came over and I mean I've seen this thing and I've looked at it and I didn't realize when I was walking around this is actually it's a series of individual modules that could be arranged anyway <laughs> he could have lined them all up in a row and it just would have taken up twice as much table space uh, but instead you know he's got them kind of wrapped around yeah. and going under each other <clears throat> and uh, the themes are just awesome I mean this I, I mean I, I'm speechless I <laughs> <laughs> you know, putt putting across the tower bridge. Mm -hmm. That that's just that's just awesome. Yeah. Uh, and this thing, as far as I know, this has been working really well. And this is his, its first show. Uh, when it showed up here, I think it had like maybe an hour or two of testing, wow. and it's been working great. You got the windmill, you know, all these staples of the putt putt, and just yeah, yeah this yeah. is this is so great. Yep. Yep. So once we leave there, we, um, we enter uh, a series of various colors of adaption of, of Stuart's uh, brick fair module, um, and these are he's he managed to make these in colors that are not common in GBC, mm -hmm. just because you know I think thanks to friends for the last couple of colors there, um, and. It, after that, we go into the module where it, it spells words for you, run by an EV3. <clears throat> and um, it's, it's slow, but it spells out. Well, you can wait for it. You can see all of it. Um, and this is pretty neat. It kind of has a, 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 the ability to regulate the amount of balls. It's manual, but he can kind of re recirculate it if mm -hmm. there's not enough balls coming so that the letters always have enough balls okay. to be fed. So, um, for the most part, uh, it depends on what's going on around it. Now, here's where we get to the interesting story. Um, he, he got tired of waiting for me to rebuild my uh, perpetual prototype. So, he made his own version. And he did it from your guys' videos. Because <laughs> it's been featured so many times. <laughs> yeah. So, he just looking at your video recreated it almost perfectly and the one thing he didn't get perfectly right he actually improved upon so there you go. i'm embarrassed <laughs> and this is uh, appropriate that somebody did this to me and this is laurie and uh i i i, I love it <laughs> and and you know what's cool to me is that his headlight brick is still shiny Mine's not. <laughs> it's worn down too much. Yeah, it passed too many balls through it. Okay, after that, we go into a um, early WM, and then we go into a, another wheel, uh, which is a common style these days, and that drops down. Uh, he has a cute name for this. What does he call it? I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, and that drops down on top of uh, a rendition of last year's WM, which feeds an early year WM, which then feeds into my spiral, which we've seen a million times and still is mesmerizing. Um, after that, we go into my pneumatic module, which I had to replace the pump and a bunch of moving parts today because they were getting tired. Um, after that, it goes into my tipping ramp, which we've seen a bunch of times before too. Um, kind of boring module actually. It's a, I think of this as like a filler. You put this between interesting things. Mm -hmm. So, and here's another rendition of the um, this year's module in different color scheme. Uh, and then we feed into a simple, simple uh, conveyor and ramp. Um, and I must admit the reason this conveyor and ramp are here is because we had a bunch of modules here that just weren't cutting it. So we had to pull them out. Um, after that, we go into my white little flipper, uh, which has been seen before. And actually, it's been acting odd today. I, I think it needs some love and attention or something. So uh, we'll see. I, I, I need to pay some attention to it. It's working great right now, but it's definitely done some strange things. After that, we move into um, this is actually an early version of Stewart's module from Brick Fair, and then a, a spiral by Mr. Red. Obviously, because it's red. Clearly. You know, he's got a theme. To keep with the theme. Yeah. Well, he doesn't always build in red. But, you know, when he does, you know it. Right. 
a wheel and then a, a series. This is an interesting type of stepper where it's a lot of little steps and the balls kind of just roll up a little piece at a time. Uh, from there we go into a simple conveyor and then a WM from a long time ago. And then we have um, Mr. Red's Ascender and in blue. <laughs> Switching things up on us. You, you know, it's got to keep us on our toes. Uh, from there we move into, um, this is a large stepper. The steps are large and move slow, so it can move a lot of balls in each cycle. Uh, and then a, a series of last year's modules um, in different colors. And then we move into Brian Bonahum's, um Bulldozer. Uh, and this is its second show. Um, and if you remember last show, he had some issues with it. And he had made this little flipper thing at the top to kind of force it to reverse and help it out. He came up with a nifty idea of just making it flat at the top. And that made simplified things. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, it's fun to watch this because it, it pushes them forward, but then when it runs back, it actually goes over the balls and then and then comes back over to scoop them up. Yep, yep. It's um, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat mechanism. I like that. <clears throat> so from from there we go into uh, module. This is based loosely on an Akiyuki concept, um, and this thing's been working pretty well today. Uh, I think earlier it had some issues, but figured out how to make it work, so it's going good. Um, out of that, we go into another last year WM module, uh, and then we go into a spinning wheel. After that, we go into another stepper that feeds into a simple conveyor. Uh, and this is uh, one of Brian's conveyors been around for a while. It's working very well. Um, and uh, after that, we go into this brick built conveyor. And from there, we go into um, a, a version of my uh, inverted conveyors pieces made as a, a different kind of a wheel thing, um, which this he's incorporated a way to loop it back, uh, which is kind of cute. It, it's actually very clever if you look at how this mechanism works. And uh, it's pretty neat. I, I'm really impressed with this. From there, we go into a, um, a simple conveyor, which feeds um, the ramp across our doorway. And this is uh, an easy way in or out. Let's just pick it up by hand just to get ourselves in and out. A lot quicker than my drawbridge. <laughs> you can get out in a second instead of waiting for the Bluetooth to cooperate. Um, from here, we go to my um, salmon run, as, it, as a some public called it years and years ago. You get the nice popping sound. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, this module has been a little weird today. Another one that needs some love and attention from me. Um, there's, I, I am amazed how inaccurate it has become because some of the parts are just plain worn out. Oh. So from there we go into, and it zigzags down the output from here. It goes into my uh, perpetual motion one, which has been around a long time. Uh, then we move into Josh's pink module. Um, and then we move, and then the next module is a very interesting module. This is actually an Akiyuki workshop module. Now, you guys have seen this before, but this is new to us, and this thing's been working great all day. I, as far as I know, there has not been a single issue with it. So I think this was the one that was at the, the Japan Brickfest show then. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's relatively simple and it's open so you can see what's going on there. I, I think it's a great workshop module. Yeah. I love that that's become kind of a more common thing it shows now with the, the workshops getting people, because obviously GBC can be kind of daunting if you haven't done it before. So it's nice to, get, to have the workshops to get people involved. Mm. Yep, this uh, it's definitely an introduction to uh, uh, to, to, to GBC is to, to build one. Yeah. Um, after that, we go into this m massive r roller coaster uh, it's got a nice big conveyor bringing things up, and uh, the balls go zipping around and back and forth and around and around. Um, this has been working fairly well. I've seen it uh, a jam on it like once or twice, and I'm I'm glad it's not a real roller coaster because there's a lot of dead people underneath. <laughs> but you know that's par for GBC, that's right? right? It runs so smoothly. It's so cool to watch because, yeah, you look at that, and that's that's just crazy. I, and and one, one thing about this, um, I understand that all of these blue cables, once the lights go out tonight, will light up. Oh, 
Okay. So I am really looking forward to seeing this at our World of Lights later yeah. tonight. Um, you guys could get a clip of that and add that. For sure, there. yeah. That would be cool. All right, out of there we go into uh, a series of John Bruce modules, uh, mostly been seen before. He uh, was kind enough to, he was here yesterday and the day before, but he's gone um, now. He, he had a, something else to do today and tomorrow, so he left his modules here for us to run. And that's the cool thing is that John's modules are reliable enough. He can leave them here with us running them, and we haven't had any issues. Um, so from there we go, you know, this is the remake of that excavator. Uh, the, it's the second model of the bucket wheel okay. excavator turned into a GBC. Um, so I know he, I think he had to add the whole input conveyor, but the rest of it is pretty much the model. This line right here is also known as the BTB module area. Is that what it is? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's what I call it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, from there we go into uh, John's double stepper, which is pretty cool. I still love a stepper. Uh, and into a module that uses the, the new um, quarter arc uh, internal gear, which we're all scrambling to figure out cool ways to use. Um, and he's, he's created a module that's like a, an internal wheel, basically. Uh, out of that we go into his now famous inside the, all the all the good stuffs on the inside, the spiral that brings the balls up and drops it out a hole. And uh, you guys have seen that before. From there, we go into a simple conveyor, but a very pretty color scheme, which is always a good thing. And then we got a WM from last year, a, a different version WM from this year, and this is the one WM we'd all like to forget about. But <laughs> there's one example on the table, and it's. Works pretty well today, so I have to give it credit because historically this module has not lasted very long. Okay. Um, from there we move into, this is a, di a different kind of, uh, I, I have to say that the, the, probably the person who created this module um, thought about last year's workshop module and kind of expanded in different directions. Mm -hmm. So this is what I like to see out of somebody who just starts off. He, they build a workshop module, then they do their own take on it. Um, from there, we move into a WM from a few years ago. My simple flipper, five little flips. And then uh, we get the picker, which is uh, based on an Akiyuki design. Um, this is Steve Hassenplugs, um, and this has been working pretty good today. I know in years past it had some issues, but I think it's still working fine today. <clears throat> After that, we go into um, an early version of the Stewart's module from Brick Fair. This is one of the the uh, test modules that was built to really prove out his design. Interestingly enough, uh, his design does have a flaw in it that we did not catch because we all used parts that we had. And when he went and bought new parts, um, some of the quality slippage in Lego led to an issue. Huh. Um, I, well, I won't go into any more details than that, but uh, from there we got a simple conveyor uh, and, and a cute little rotating wheel. I have to say that's adorable. After that we go, we got another WM, uh, and then we have a, a shovel module. This is based on a Philo module, uh, and then we have another WM, and then a simple conveyor, another WM, WM in lime green, another simple conveyor and we have a module that uses the tipping uh, uses the tipping aspect to move the balls up a ramp a little bit at a time uh, after that we go into another WM from a few years ago WM from last year a simple flipper I think this is based loosely on my design of the flippers uh, and then we have another module based on Philo's design and yet another Philo design here and then we have a, a very heavily decorated version of this year's workshop module um, a different color scheme version of last year's workshop module another rotating wheel which is small not quite as cute as that one but still works pretty good uh, another picker and um, this is, seems to be working pretty good right now it had an issue before 
uh, where that the first the last bar beam over here was just not picking up balls, but that's been fixed now. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Um, after that, we move into another simple conveyor, um, and in, into the, uh, another version of the very thin stepper, where the balls just seem to just walk up the steps. Into a uh, version of uh, my spiral, and into a version of Akiyuki spiral, and into a version of um, the, a spinning wheel. And this is kind of a different take on a wheel where it's kind of encapsulated. And then that dumps into the ball dozer. <coughs> the uh, ball dozer we all know and love. <laughs> Gets the so, public involved. Mm. I was handed a piece of paper during this whole... Late-breaking news? Late-breaking news. <laughs> the official module count, 266, Mako. <laughs> and what was the, the record before this? I believe his number was 259. Okay. So, so we have a little bit of margin there. <laughs> and I, and, I, and it's, it's not a matter of if he's going to break that record. It's a matter of when. <laughs> it's a ba continual back and forth, you know. Yes, well, that's, that's half the fun. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. So this has been another incredible layout. Uh, tons of people involved here. Do you have any idea the number? I, you know, usually that's something I can keep track of. I, I, I really don't know yeah. for this. I haven't, I haven't, if I sit down and think about it, I, I can come up with a close number, but there's so many people doing this right. now. Um, there, it, in times past, uh, it, was, it was a very sh short list. Um, and now that the, the workshops have gone, created a, a created a monster <laughs> yeah. um, so you have people that build a workshop module and that's it and they never do anything again you have people who build a workshop module and then do it again next year and then do it next year and they bring all their workshop modules okay. and then you have people that take a workshop module and modify it and then you have people that make a workshop module and then th throw that away and make 27 new ones on <laughs> their own and it's all it's a combination of all of those things that have has led to what we have here today um, there's, there's definitely some, some ones here that have been around for a long time. There's some brand new ones here, uh, and a lot of, a lot of variety of all, every variety of workshop module has been represented here, including Akiyuki's yes. brick fairs, every brick world. <laughs> so, um, it, it's a good thing to see. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's always fun, and obviously I've been watching here. You had the public around here, tons of people watching as always. So always okay. a big hit there. It's, it's fun to see people's reaction to it. So uh, another wonderful layout, and thank you, as always, for taking us through it. I know you're tired here, and it takes a lot of time, but uh, oh, people no, love this, watching it. You know, running this stuff is easy. You know, you get to sit down a lot. All right, no. I've sat down for three minutes the whole day. <laughs> so, yeah, no. It's, it's a lot of fun, though. I mean, it's a lot of work, but I... if. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't keep doing right. this. So, and I am, I will keep doing this. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So this has been uh, Brick World 2018 uh, layout here. We'll continue to see what uh, future Brick World shows have to offer with GBC. I'm sure there will be more exciting displays in the future. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.